Thank you Melodics for sponsoring this video. It's anything that just gets the people vibing, gets the people chilling. That that dusty ass sound. <laughs> That's what lo-fi means to me. It, I also think it's an ode to the roots of hip hop, the roots of boom bap, New York, you know, all that good stuff. Shout out Nujibes, shout out Jay Dilla. You know, if it wasn't for them, lo-fi would not be a thing. What's up everyone, this is Ed Talenti. how are you guys doing? Today I'm going to challenge myself once again to try to learn as much as I can about a new music genre in 24 hours. Specifically, we're doing lo-fi today. So it's about 7.30 a.m. right now, my goal for today is to learn what is lo-fi, where does it come from, and more importantly, can we make some? Can we make a decent lo-fi beat by the end of the day? I hope so, or this video will be terrible. <laughs> so when we hear the word lo-fi, most of us immediately associate it with a certain aesthetic, right? Like myself included, I think of the, the studying anime Girl, I think of like the sound of vinyl fuzz and like grimy sounds. I think of like the smell of coffee and books, or even like this sense of like deep nostalgia from our own childhood or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> this is getting way too deep. <laughs> So I started my morning today before I turned on the camera kind of like preparing for this video and I was on Google looking for something about the history of lo-fi or anything like that and I found this amazing blog post in three parts by Victoria Voluminos. So the thing that really caught my attention as I was reading it was realizing how narrow my view of lo-fi has been so far and how many other kinds of music that have nothing to do with hip-hop even can totally be connected and can be traced back to lo-fi. So long story short I need to broaden my perspective and since I only have 24 hours I think the fastest way to do that is actually to post a story on Instagram asking people to send me their favorite lo-fi tracks. All right, so quick picture. What are your favorite lo-fi inspired tracks? All right, that looks good. Post. I'm really excited to see what we're gonna get. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> All right, so Fire just put down three kicks. <laughs> I think we need a snare. So while I'm waiting for people to send in their suggestions, I wanna take like 10, 15 minutes to try to cook up some lo-fi with whatever idea I have of lo-fi right now. This is kinda of gonna be our starting point, our zero point, and I think it's gonna be super interesting to compare it to what we're gonna make at the end of the day, after we've done our research, after we've explored different things, after we learned more about lo-fi. I want like a cowbell or a wood block or something like that. Ooh. Hey. All right, I think I'm good for now with drums. It's lo-fi-ish. <laughs> so let's get like a warm like a Rhodes and try to find some chords. This is okay and it's definitely like lo-fi-ish but it's lacking some direction it's lacking some like I don't know it works it's pretty good but I want to get deeper all right so it's been about 45 minutes since I posted this story we got a whole bunch of suggestions so I kind of scrolled through the list and looked at every single one and I tried to pick three songs that were mentioned multiple times this way hopefully we get a nice little overview of what most people consider lo-fi first up we got Lord Apex speak for yourself Ooh, okay the Japanese sample? This is crazy. I like the video too, is that Paris? Yeah, I think that's Paris, dude. Okay, wow, we're off to a good start. <laughs> I really love the vintage Japanese sample. The production was super minimalistic. Everything felt like it was coming from a different era in the past. First track, and we're already pretty far from the beats to study to kind of vibe. This is dope, what's next? Uh, Kupla Serenity. Totally different vibe. I love the rhythm of that guitar thing in the back. I wonder how the drums are gonna come in. Oh, whoo! So good. Oh, nice little jazzy chords there. All right. Track number two, Whew. This one was much, much closer to my original idea of lo-fi, like the chill, relaxed, good vibe, but like also kind of sad and melancholic. This was super good. All right, then the third track, the last one for right now, it's Bishop Nero, Nero, Rooftops. Ooh. Oh, the sample is, woo! Oh, <laughs> this might be my favorite one. Dude, that, the sample, the horn sample is just, Ba, 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 da. 
<laughs> All right, I know you guys can't hear the music right now because I can't put it for copyright reasons, so I'm just listening to it in the headphones. I'm gonna leave these three tracks in the description because these are crazy. All right, so as I was expecting, this is all over the place. <laughs> so we have the jazz sample, we have like the hip hop, like almost like Dilla drums, we have a heavy Japanese influence, we have the beats to study to kind of sound. This is so cool. <laughs> all right, I feel like I'm almost ready to cook something up. First though, we asked the people on Instagram what they think lo-fi is to them. I wanna ask three of my good friends that pretty much make a living with lo-fi hip hop, Eldre, Lusion, and Chris Ponsolin. The lo-fi sound is definitely a big part of the music that they make, so I'm really curious to know what lo-fi means to them. Yo, what's up? It's Eldre. Uh, lo-fi to me is really just chill beat, simply because the masses have adopted lo-fi as like a keyword. You know, you gotta search it up. It's more searchable than saying uh, chill beats to study to all the time. That's what I think it is as a genre. It's anything that just gets the people vibing, gets the people chilling. Uh, basically anything that sounds super dusty, kind of vintage, very warbly, that, that dusty ass sound. <laughs> That's what lo-fi means to me. This is a terrible definition. What? <laughs> oh my God. What lo-fi means to me, it's just an absolute incredible community that we've all built together. We're able to provide so much for people that are going through a rut or they're just need or they can't sleep or they need to focus on their work and we are able to provide that for people. It, I also think it's an ode to the roots of hip hop, the roots of boom bap, New York, you know, all that good stuff. Shout out Nujibes, shout out Jay Dilla. You know, if it wasn't for them, lo-fi would not be a thing, so. All right, shout out to Eldre, Chris, and Lucia for giving us their own unique perspective on lo-fi. I wanna do a super quick recap and then we're gonna make a beat. So we need to make something fuzzy, noisy, with like a low quality aesthetic. I think we need a jazz influence, we need boom bap drums, and we need like a sad, melancholic type of vibe. Yeah. I think that's it. I'm ready to make a beat. All right, real quick before we cook up some lo-fi, I asked to my Patreon supporters a couple days ago if they had any specific questions for me. And one that came up a lot was, how did you learn to play the keyboard? Well, recently I've been spending a lot of time playing around with melodics and I have learned so much stuff. When I first got into it, I started practicing the beginner stuff and it was kind of like below my level already, but it starts from like the very beginning, the first intervals, the first like how to position your hands, like the very basics on the keyboard. So I quickly got those out of the way and I started like scrolling down, going to the harder stuff and and dude, <laughs> I found some gold. My favorite course that I've been taking is this Robert Glasper, like New York hip hop jazz inspired thing. And it's just, it's amazing. Hey. 100%. Just by doing that, I've learned so much about like voice leading my bass lines and like where to place chords and like different rhythms. And I've been taking like a Cuban piano class. I've been taking all kinds of classes. Literally every free moment that I have, I spend it just learning keyboard. <laughs> On top of being a great learning tool, it also helps me a lot with inspiration because I learned something new, like for example, a new chord progression. And the first thing I wanna do is just go on Ableton and make a beat with that chord progression or like get inspired by that one and find the variation of it. It's just a great inspirational tool to like find new sounds and explore new things. Well, so yeah, they're sponsoring this video, but honestly, I can't recommend it enough. It's really great. I've been learning a ton of stuff. So whatever level you're at, professional, beginner, intermediate, there's gonna be something for you on there to learn and just to experiment and explore and get inspired. It's just it's just awesome. So if you're interested, just go to the link at the top of the description. You get 20% off your membership. Trust me, try this one out. It's really, really great if you're trying to learn keyboard. Well, I think I'm ready to make some lo-fi. All right, so I think the vibe I'm gonna go for it, something chill with like chill sounds because it's still lo-fi but I want it to be dark, I want it to be gritty and I don't want it to be happy. <laughs> I actually really like this progression. It kind of stemmed from a melodic lesson I took a few days ago. It's been like coming back to me every time I sit down at the piano. I haven't used it yet, so I think this is the one. <laughs> Let me find the notes. feeling like choir, like maybe like a Mellotron choir.
All right, I'm gonna airdrop that to the computer. I needed some texture for the groove and I think this is gonna work. That actually sounds pretty lo-fi. I think we just need a bass. Now we're pretty much done. Actually, before the bass, I want to add some like ambient sound, like some foley, like rain, birds, something like that. All right, now we can do bass. All right, so I chopped up this vocal part. It's actually like three or four different samples. I just kind of like spliced them up and put them all together into a single phrase. I feel like this just took the melody to like a whole new level. Ooh. All right, I think we're done. If you guys did the video, please forget to subscribe button and notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. And as always, remember to be positive and positive things will happen.